If you have Evernote, then you'll know that you can sometimes clip web pages and send them to your Evernote account. Now there is a way you can do that on the iPad in Safari. So just have a little uh, example here. If I have this page that I wanted to clip and send to my Evernote account, I have on the bookmarks bar a shortcut called Test Clip. You can call it what you like though. Test Clip will bring up a Evernote web clipper. Now you do have to sign in, so let's just do that first. You sign into your account and then you can clip this page as you would if you were doing this on a, in, in a web browser on a computer. So I can select which notebook I want this to go into. It's going to go into my default inbook, inbox. Uh, I can put in a, a tag. I can adjust that later. I can add some text and an explanation of what this clip is. And then I can save it. And now it's preparing the note and sending it up to Evernote. So if we go back to our Evernote accounts on the web, so Evernote, and to see if that has arrived there, I sent it up to the inbox. And there it is there, five apps for scanning documents on your phone. And it actually sends the web page. And you've got a little bit more than you probably need, but then you can edit it around when you've got, got it into it to Evernote. So how do you actually do this on the iPad? How do you set up a bookmarklet, it's called, that will allow you to, to, um, to clip web pages? So to do that, First of all, we need to do some uh, preparation in Safari settings. So in the settings and into Safari, oh, it's, it's there. You need to have the bookmarks bar open. So always show the bookmarks. Uh, JavaScript needs to be on. And cookies, accept cookies from visited. So if you have that, those three things done is in terms of settings and then go to this page because it has some code on there that you're going to need and this is a page of the blog that I have so going to this page the click web pages and send to Evernote because there is some code here this code, JavaScript code, that we're going to need. Now, all the things that are in this video are also in this post, so you can look at it if you want to just look at the text. But in order to do this, we need to copy this code. So just that bit of JavaScript code. So from, do this from your iPad and copy that code. Then we need to create a bookmark. So up to the Sharing tab, add a bookmark. Uh, just call it something temporary so copy web page just for the moment save it into the bookmarks bar so if the bookmarks bar is not there just make sure you go into that so you don't want it in the actual bookmarks you want to make sure it's in the bookmarks bar and then save it now we're going to edit that with the code we just did so back into bookmarks and make sure you're in the bookmarks bar and you can check from here, bookmarks menu, no, and bookmarks bar, edit, and find that bookmark, which will be the last thing we did. We're going to move it up to the very top because I want it to appear as the first or second link in the bookmarks bar. So I'm going to put it here. We're going to delete this one. This is an old version. And we want to edit this bookmark. So we want to take out that website, so delete it, and replace it with that code that I got off the page. Then done. And rename it. So it is, is, is called uh, Web Clipper or something like that. Something that's meaningful for you. Web Clipper. Done. And then done. And get out of the bookmarks and we'll see it up there in the bookmarks bar. There's the web clipper. 
So if I want to go in and clip a page, let's just go in with my open tabs, whatever is there, and I want to send that and clip this page. All I need to do now is tap Web Clipper in the bookmarks bar. Make sure I've signed into my Evernote account. Then I can select the, the notebook, put the tags in, uh, add the text, and got some decisions here. Clip the full page or save the page URL. It's time. Let's just do the, the page URL and see what happens. And save. And now that will go up to Evernote. So let's just go back and have a look in Evernote and reload it. And there it is there. We're in the inbox, the Roville NC courses. And this one, I just asked it to send the, the uh, URL, which is all it did. I didn't ask it to send the page. And then all the organising of all the notes you do is normal from your, your Evernote account. But from your iPad, that's how you add a web clipper.